Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So in the recent video, I did a 10,000 calorie challenge. I gained so much support from people that I don't know which meant a lot to me. In the comment section, people were pointing out that all I ate was noodles, but that's not true. I had IHOP. So I thought it'd be fun to just have like a tasting video of all ramens all around Asia, my favorite type of ramen is from Korea and Indonesia because I'm from Indonesia. It's going to be nine kinds of different ramen. Obviously, you can get these at your local Asian super grocery store. Huh? Super grocery store. Asian supermarket. Enough of me rambling on. Let's get this video started. All right, the first noodles I'm gonna try is the Banchit Canton. It's this chow mein extra hot chili flavor. It is from the Philippines. It came with two packets, mixed special seasoning, soy sauce, and oil. Let's try it. I don't know if you can see, but it's dried up already. Mm. The smell <coughs> smells good. It's not as spicy as it's advertised, but overall it's not too bad. It reminds me of Indonesian mee goreng, but less flavor. I'm going to give this an 8. The second thing that I'm going to eat, which has dried up, it's the Samyang noodles, the hot chicken ramen noodles that everyone has been challenging, but this one actually has cheese. It came with two packet seasonings. One is the hot chili ones that you always see, and the other one is the cheese powder thing. Still spicy. I can't really taste the cheese. Regular samyang noodles and these, it's the exact, it's the exact spicy level. I do taste the cheese. It has that nutty flavor. It's actually pretty good. So I'm gonna give this 9.5. Third thing I'm gonna try. Alright, it's supposed to be noodle based, but the soup kind of soaked up the noodles right now. This is the Penang Hokkien Mee. It's from Malaysia. It's called Mee Segera Prisa Udang. It's the shrimp flavor. That's all I know. Because Malaysian and Indonesian, the language isn't too far off. So let's try this. Pretty good. I do taste strong flavor of the shrimp. Let me try the soup. I really like it. Man, that was good. I'd give this a 9.5 out of 10. Next one on our list. The Kung Fu Instant Oriental Noodle Soup. Artificial onion flavor. It is made from Taiwan. It is a soup based type of noodles, which I can't even find the soup. Oh, yeah, it has a very strong taste of onion, that's for sure. It's pretty basic. If you really like the onion taste, this is definitely for you. I'm gonna give this a 7.5 out of 10. All right, next. This is in Chinese, but it's from Nissin. It is a product of Hong Kong. So let's try this. I don't know what flavor this is. Oh, okay. Seafood flavor. No wonder I keep tasting something, but I wasn't sure what it is, but it's pretty good. It's pretty basic once again, nothing special, but it's very flavorful. I would give this an 8.5 out of 10. It's really good. 
Next one, it's potato spicy beef flavor instant noodles. It is from Vietnam. It came with oil and some chili packet and the soup base. I'm not sure if I like it. It tastes very plain. It's not as flavorful as I thought it would be. I would give this a seven out of 10. All right, next one, mama noodles. And this mama noodles, it's the shrimp tom yum flavor. You know I've never had mama noodles in my life before. I know. So let's see what I'm missing out on. Mmm, I definitely taste the tom yum flavor. Mmm, that's really good. It's rich in flavor. The tom yum soup, I can definitely taste it. I'd give this 9.5 out of 10. It's really good. Now, this is, ooh, this is the Oriental Japanese ramen. I thought this was from Japan, but it's actually a product of USA. Let's try it. It's a very creamy texture. There's a hint of sesame in there as well. There's not much soup in here since it was sitting a while. But this is okay. Like if you add on the ramen toppings and stuff, this could easily pass as a bowl of Japanese ramen. I'd give this an 8 out of 10. It's pretty good. This was the only noodles that was not in the ramen packet. It's in a bowl. All I did was just pour hot water. This comes with the package. The package. The ramen bowl. I'm just gonna crush it. The soup is light. The noodles texture is light as well. It's nice, chewy. The noodles wanna melt in your mouth. Let me try the tempura. It's not as good as fresh like tempura batter, but it's feasible. Not bad. I'm done! <laughs> so that is it you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just want to share my love for noodles. Obviously, these are not something you should be able to eat every day because of the sodium content, preservatives, chemicals blah 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 but with portion control i mean life is what me and kobe's right here we'll try to put on more content right baby i will see you guys in my next video bye kobe, what do you want to say to the viewers what yeah tell them tell the viewer how much you love them go ahead speak <laughs> yeah <laughs> and that is it for this <laughs> Hopefully you guys were able to see my passion and love for noodles. They're my <laughs> Hope you guys. That's it for this noodle tasting video. I hope you guys had fun as much as I had fun filming this. 